Hello everyone, my name is The Demented Solid and I just want to make a very quick video on how to install Gemini's Classic Rebirth patch for Resident Evil on the GOG version. Um, as I'm making this video, only the first one is released, but Resident Evil 2 and 3 are coming out soon and the installation pro process is probably going to be the exact same um, if they do work. But as of right now, we only know that it works on the original game. So, first things first, you do have to be using the Japanese version, which is basically as simple as going into your configuration for the game and selecting the Japanese language. Um, the mod does allow you to have different language supports, including English, so you don't have to worry about not being able to understand the game or anything like that. But we want to make sure we're on that version. And now we're going to go to the actual website. I'll be linking this in the description as well as Gemini's socials. He's done so much work for the Resident Evil community as well as other stuff uh, like Dino Crisis, Soul Reaver... Um, he's a really cool dude, and I really hope that they actually allow him to use this as the official patch for the GOG version, because this is actually such an insane fix, and it adds in a lot of cool support and a lot of cool things. So, like I said earlier, there are mods for language support for all these here. You can choose them if you want. But the thing that we specifically need, or two things rather, is the classic Rebirth DLL via this link here and the official 1.01 patch by Capcom, which is also here. So download both of those, and then we're going to head over into our file manager, where it's installed. You can do that by simply just going to Manage Installation and Show Folder, and there it is. Uh, you're going to want to then open the two packs that you've just downloaded and move the biohazard.exe and the ddraw.dll into this folder. And then once you open the game afterwards via either the launcher or just the EXE, you'll be greeted with a nice little configuration screen. Um, this allows you to choose your resolution, which the original game does not. You can also choose retro mode because this adds some nice textures in. You can enable Japanese or disable it if you want, enable movies, make the game continue when you tab in and out. A bunch of nice little things including quick turn and tactical reload. But this fixes a lot of issues with the game and it's probably going to fix a lot of issues with the GOG patch because I've already seen some people saying that they're having a couple issues. So hopefully this also fixes all that and makes your game run better. Um, that's about it. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, go give some love to Gemini, go follow him on Twitter. Um, he's a really cool dude and he's done so much work and honestly he deserves to be recognised for it. But again, I hope this helped you and if it did, then give it a like and comment. I suppose that it did. I will see you guys later.